Hey YouTube, Goddess Lily. Well, I want to bring you some updates on this lace closure wig that I've been making. But first, I'm, I want to show you the wig cap that I've been that I've used to make it on. So these are my new wig caps that I'm selling, and this is the actual wig cap that I cut out the inside and replaced, you know, this area with lace, and I'm ventilating. So I'm also ventilating all the way down to the edge this little edge right here now i did bring my tracks all the way over and i sewed a track from here around here and then i'm ventilating this part so actually i'll have ventilation all the way through and i'll show you that in a minute but what i wanted to show you um i wanted to compare this cap the center with one of the side parts so as you can see, this side part is a lot narrower. This is like one inch by four, and this is like two inches by four. So it's quite a lot of ventilation in the center. So first I'm gonna show you, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm defining this center part. So, um, if you get up really, if I get up really, really close, it might look like the stitches are pretty big. So I haven't done this side, I'm working on this side. This right here is actually, um, I'm using a one by two needle right on the edge. And then I'm filling it all in with my one needle. So if you look way up here, you can kind of tell um, it's really really tiny so all that's a one needle so you do know that I close up the parts with single strands double knotted so because these are double knotted back here all in here let me see if I can part it and show you basically um, I'm using a two to three needle but because they're double knotted, you know, all my work is double knotted. This, um, the knots look a little large. But because I do a defined part, I don't have to worry about um, my knots showing. And the other thing that I do is, my hair on my face, I go in and um, I trim my returns. So I don't trim my returns I don't trim the returns from the one and two, sti the single stitches and the, the um, one and two stitches right in here because if you don't cut your returns close enough to the knot, they'll be, you'll see little spikes. So you have to be kind of knowledgeable when you're trimming your returns. And a lot of times you don't have to trim returns on Indian. This is kind of Indian straight but it has a slight wave to it. I actually washed it and I have um, some shea butter on it. I dyed it because it was jet black and then I washed condition and I, I ventilate it with shea butter because um, it'll keep it moist through this whole ventilation process. So um, I like it flat 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 so I will go in and trim the returns. So what I wanted to show you is, let me show you this side. And I'll show you the other side. This side is completely done. So you can see that I have ventilation right through this little area right there. And then I have a track sewn that goes all the way around there. So that's to cover up the tracks. But I actually ventilate it. I don't know if you can tell. I actually ventilated that area, that little flap area. I ventilated it, but on the wigs that I offer, I won't be ventilating that area. Um, I'll be bringing the tracks all the way across. So here's the area I'm talking about in the cap. This whole little space here, I ventilated in that. And 
this is ribbon on the outer edge so my needle won't go through that ribbon because there's no open you know lace in there so I had to cover that with a track so what I'm thinking it was really a waste of time to ventilate that I could have saved that hair but if I am making these waists for anyone else the tracks will come all the way to the edge and then I will have a track I will machine sew a track going around there. So this, the tracks, this is what I ventilated. The tracks come all the way to the edge and I ventilate it on this edge. It's just a little tiny edge of lace. Well, that's the wrong cap. <laughs> this is the middle part. So this little edge of lace I guess what I'm trying to say is I have tracks sewn all around here all the way to the edge and this little edge right here I ventilated it across so this is the other side so I haven't sewn a track I will sew a track to go around there and then this little area right here, I'll ventilate it from that pin to that pin. All that will be ventilated so it'll just blend in with that. So that's the type of ventilation that I will be offering on these um, lace closure wigs. I actually have um, a tab on my wigweeds.com blog, Lace Closure Wigs that I am offering these. I am offering them at a really, really good price. I think they're a really good price. I don't, you know, deal with the hair. You have to send me the hair. My work is 100% legit. It's, you know, all custom made. You know what you're getting because I always make videos on everything. So I'm going to be doing, making a, um, a U-part wig using this cap for a client and um, I'm going to for all my U-part wigs they will have they will come with ventilation around this area this area right here that I'm just gonna call it the trim so my U-part wigs are gonna come with ventilation around this trim and around this U so you will not see the tracks. The tracks will stop right there before the ventilation and that's included in the cost. So my U-part wigs are a little more than these U-part wigs that you get made with these dome caps and all that other stuff. I don't deal with that. So when you're ordering a wig from me, you know you're getting a 100% good wig made on a really nice cap and you also know that I add a, um, I add a, a um, what am I trying to say? I add a um, another layer of lace, you know, fabric over this to make it last and make it more durable because you know my machine tears this little weird stretchy net, stretchy net when I'm trying to machine sew it. So I actually have to add net over this whole part. This net. This at the top is really, really stiff, so I don't have to add any more netting over that. And um, so you'll, I just wanted to give you a little update. I'm actually gonna be finished this in the next few days because I have hair coming in for the U-part wig that I'm really excited to make and I can't wait to start making that. And um, it'll be made exactly the same way except it won't have you know this is it won't have the closure filled in because this is a lace closure wig so um, let me give you another little up close picture and um, you can see how I'm closing in that part so this is you know that pink thread is the actual part it's really straight but it might look a little crooked And you can see the single single strands closing in that part. And that's it for my update. Thank you for watching.